Hello everybody, this is engineer Ahmad Abu Ahmed. Today I'm going to present the integration between Primavera B6 and the Power BI to generate a consolidated report which will be updated in five minutes upon the completion of the weekly progress report in Primavera. In general, this is a project overview details. Then we will go into detailed progress report analysis, engineering and procurement analysis, Manpower, manpower analysis and the commercial report analysis. Let's start with the project overview at the left side. This is general data of the project, the start, finish date, amount and delays, quality report. And at the top, we have the uh, graph presentation of a high level summary of the project with the details for start, finish date and the progress percentage, variance and the delays. In the middle, we have a time analysis for the time elapsed, time remaining, progress analysis and the SPI. Then we have graphical presentation of the progress over the months, the delays of the project over the months as well, the manpower histogram analysis, we have the budgeted, planned and actual, the same for the staff. On the right side, this is a, a picture from Google for the project, which can be replaced by any project photo. Then we have here a presentation of the blocks based on the value of each one. This is an interactive dashboard which any selection will, will interact with all the visuals in the dashboard, as you can see here. Let's move to the detailed progress report. At the left side, this is general data, and this is a site plan of the project that's showing the actual percentage of each block based on until the data date, based on the updated Primavera. If you select any of the buildings, the whole dashboard will interact to that building and will show you the section of the building in which area you are behind schedule, which areas you are ahead of the schedule or in line with the schedule. You can select any building to analyze all the data. On the right side, this is a KBI, which is showing all the planned or the executed activities until today, which are in progress or started. If you increase the time bar here, the KBI will be expanded. Let's take until 43, week number 43. This is analysis of the progress, planned versus actual. Uh, the, the visual here is presenting the most delayed block. We have most delay and parking one, block A and in block F, and the delays of each floor. In the middle, we have some information about the project, the elapsed days, the time remaining, the progress percentage. We can filter all this data by the scope. We can, uh, we can filter domestic scope, prime cost, or provisional sound scope. Let's take the domestic as an example. We can as well filter the activity based on the categories. Let's take the civil and architectural work. Subcategories, for example, we'll take the structure. Then we'll analyze block A. In block A, we can analyze any of the floors, starting from the foundation until the ninth floor. We can also filter the activity that started, completed, or not started, or we can filter specific activities in this filter. As you can see here, this is block A. This is presentation block A. We have delay in the structure works. To clear all the filters, click here, and all the filters will be clear. You can analyze as well the Gantt chart. If you go to the detailed Gantt chart, this is presenting all the activities in the Primavera. We can filter the longest path or the critical path. We can filter all the completed activities. We can filter a specific activity in a specific floor and in a block. We can filter by category as well. This is the general information or progress analysis based on weightage. For the engineering, we don't have any manpower allocation nor cost allocation, so we have used the weightage. If we will choose site facilities, for example, it should start 25 August, finish 25 June, and the forecast finish date, we have minus 70 days delay. The weightage is almost 6%, planned, planned early 40% of the 5.75, 
actual and all the required analysis for this activity or for this portion. Now we will move to the engineering part. In this dashboard, we will clear all the filter first. Week number 43. This part, we have the weightage of the engineering, blend and actual, and the variance and the SPI. This is a graphical presentation of the engineering procurement. And the box here is showing the most delayed package. We have most delay in porcelain and skirting. For example, block is block work or is vanilla. You can filter the material only. This is statistics presenting the plant submission, plant submetals, actual submetals, plant approval and actual approval. And this is statistics for the procurement. We can uh, filter pre qualifications, we can filter the shop drawing, etc. And as well, we can filter based on package, civil and architect, MEB or landscape. We can filter based on the scope of work, if it's domestic, prime cost, or provisional sum. As well, we can analyze each package by itself. For example, we'll choose aluminum and glazing. Aluminum and glazing, this is the engineering. We can increase the time bar. This is the required engineering. We can analyze the material. We can analyze pre-qualifications, etc. In this box, it's also presenting the package, aluminum package, and the variance in early and variance in late. You can see if this is a critical delay or not critical delay. Moving forward to the manpower. For the manpower analysis, we have uh, an important analysis for the budgeted manpower in mandates, total plan mandates, actual mandates, performed work mandates, the actual percent of budget and the actual percent of plan. We have full detailed analysis, progress in mandates, SPI. And on the left side, there is two scenario for the expected to complete and expected at completion. And you can here analyze if you have saving or you will use extra manpower than the budget. You can filter based on the work type, civil work, MEB, manpower, or other subcontractor, as well as you can, you can analyze based on the category of the manpower, direct or indirect manpower, and you can analyze based on the source of labor. If this is civil subcontractor, or this is a company owned manpower, or this is a labor supply. However, you can also analyze this based on the category or the trade of the manpower, carpenter, charge hand, helper, mason, etc. We'll clear all the filters and we can go in details for the manpower if you want more details. In this table, we are presenting the direct and the indirect and subcategories of the direct manpower and direct manpower with a comparison of the plan, of the budgeted plan and actual and the variance. And this is a graphical presentation of this manpower. You can filter based on one trade, for example, the carpenter. From here, or you can directly click to the carpenter and all the dashboard will be interactive with, with the, your selection. You can analyze the civil subcontractor manpower. The budget is zero, plant is zero as subcontractor, but there is actual outside. Then you can analyze the company manpower. The budget was planned to be all from the company and the same as planned, but you have the actual also from the company and from other sources. At the right side, you can have analysis for the stuff, the designation, budgeted amount, and the actual amount, and the variance with a graphical presentation. You can also select any of this designation to be reflected in the Gantt chart. If you believe this Gantt chart, or this is, sorry, this is, this is bar chart, this small, it can be also expanded. You can expand this to, to be full screen, which we'll explain the, in details later. Now, finally, we'll go to the commercial report, which I believe is a very important section. At the left side, there's a contractual uh, amounts, contractual amount, land value, actual value, or, or earned value, the claimed amount, and the percentages from earned, earned amount, earned percentage of land, and the claimed percent of earned. At the middle here, we can have also the same uh, analysis. This is the planned versus earned amount based on the uh, project and the BOQ as well. Then we have here earned amount versus the claimed amount. In each month, how much is the earned amount and how much is the claimed amount and the cumulative. 
At the right side, this is analysis, analysis based on the BOQ divisions. The BOQ is divided, for example, into substructure. We have variance in the substructure. We can analyze by expand this division. We can see in block A, there is a, a minor variance. In block C, in block D, we are okay, but we are we are ahead of the planned cash flow and parking one. This will be all analyzed. However, you can analyze type of work, categories, subcategories, and based on the BOQ divisions. If I want to know only the substructure work, I can analyze only the substructure work. This will show you the trend of your substructure work, and you can see the analysis of the claimed amount and the earned amount. We can go in details further to the commercial report. In the previous commercial report, we have explained the planned and the earned. What about the claimed amount? After the claim, there will be a certification uh, process. So here we'll present the certified amount, due amount, and the bent amount, as well as the variation analysis, how much we have total variations. Now we have only submitted 2.9 million, nothing approved by the employer nor the engineer. So in the left side, this is a full analysis of the uh, commercial report, the contract amount, planned value, earned value, uh, certified gross value, advance payment, retention, due amount, and the bid amount if you have any overdue amount or any variations. This is full details analysis. In the variation, we have 21 variations submitted as statistics, 17 instructed, one submitted. 21 total and 17 instructed means we have four potential variations, maybe a comment we receive in the shop drawing, for example, or reply to the RFI. This is the variation log in the project. You can filter based on the type of the variation, if it's EI and VC or the RFI. RFI or direct notification or engineer instruction. You can filter also based on the status of the variation, if it's potential variation. Let's say, for example, A is a approved positive variation. B is approved negative variation. Of course, we have nothing approved. We have nothing approved. We can filter based on the status, based on the type. This is all the details about the, the report. You can also increase the analysis period from here.